Hey guys, what's up? Name is Becca, and welcome to another weekly reading update. So, oh man. So this week, I, um, I did an alright job. It's not so bad. It's the second day of December, so I did start reading, um, for December already. So you'll see what I'm reading for that. But yeah, uh, finishing off November, it wasn't too bad. I did, I think, I don't know if I completed this before Sunday of last week or if I was like right at the end of it. I want to say I was right at the end, but I really loved this. I gave this five out of five stars. This was amazing. Um, I loved Ismay and I loved the characters and the romance is just so good. And I can't wait for Dark Triumph. I am like so excited. I did just film my wrap up for the month. So this will be going up before that, but I will link my wrap up if I remember down below when that goes up but yeah this would this is going up today where my wrap up is going up on like Friday so it's gonna be a full week but uh yeah I'll try and link it down below but I'll probably forget <laughs> knowing me I'll probably forget so yeah I'll definitely link this and my uh I'll link my TBR down below though for you my December TBR but yeah Love this. This is great. I cannot wait for Dark Triumph. I am hoping to pick this up very soon. Or to pick up the sequel very soon. Uh, and then I finally finished Reads of Nightmares by Lainey Taylor. I finally finished it. I feel like I've been reading this forever. And I've been reading it for over a month. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars. This was great. I did feel like the ending was just too open for me. There might be another book, and if there is, I can't wait for it. But if this is the ending, then what the hell? I need more. <laughs> like, this, it's too open-ended. I feel like there's still things I need to know. There's still things, like, that needs to happen. <laughs> what the hell? And it says, like, the end, or is it? Like, okay, come on, just tell me. Is there going to be another book? Like, I need more. <laughs> um, And then the, the characters that I didn't absolutely no really what they were going to um bring to this to this world into this plot i finally understood who they were like I, it was confusing because i knew their names or at least i knew some of their names and i'm like wait are you the same characters that i that i know or are you different like i am so confused but yeah so now that i know that those were sort of set in the past those moments were set in the past and the chapters of like Lazo and them are in the present and then the chapters of the newbie girls were set in the past that would have been really really neat to know that before you know, like going into like it would have been nice to know in like a head in a chapter header or something hey set in the past <laughs> I mean I guess kind of wanting to I don't know that could be a spoiler I don't know I don't know this is great. 4.5 out of 5 stars. I'm really glad I finally finished this. But yeah, I need I need another book. Where's the next book? Next up, I read Scythe by Neil Shusterman. So I read it. Um, I had a few more days left of the month. Or I had like a couple more days left. And I needed to read something pretty fast. And I had this unscribed to read, and I was like, yeah, I guess I could just pick that up. It's on my TBR, and I was like, yeah, let's just pick that up and try to finish it. And I did, and I enjoyed it. I give this four stars. Um, this is set in a futuristic world where um, we have achieved immortality. You can't really die unless a scythe, uh, a human with the ability to glean. Uh, gleaning is killing, pretty much. So the only ones who, like, can actually kill you are scythes. Nobody else can kill you. And you can't kill yourself. Unless the scythe comes. Like, if you try to fall off a building or get hit by a car or something, uh, you have nanites in your body and it will literally just heal you and bring you back. Like, you, you won't die. Um, or at least you won't stay dead, pretty much. Or a scythe um, has this ability to glean and they're able to, like, take your soul. Pretty much. Um. So, we follow Citra and Rowan, who 
have become apprentices to uh, Scythe Faraday, and they are pretty much competing to become a Scythe. Only one of them can become a Scythe, and the other one is left in the dust. <laughs> and they're competing with each other on who is actually going to become it. Um, and I just really enjoyed it. There are more things that happen, like, <sighs> try not to spoil anything. It's so hard not to spoil anything. Um, like, there's some villainous characters. There are definitely sites who care more about the power than they do about, like, actually, the, like, the people, where there are sites who have compassion and are gleaning because they have to, not because they want to. Um, the population has just gotten too out of control and there are more, you know, like, there are more births, um, and not enough deaths. <laughs> um, and now that you have to wait for a scythe to actually glean you, you can't die from old age, you can't die from getting hit by a car, you can't die from falling off a building, you just, you, you can't die unless a scythe kills you. So, I mean, because of that, um, scythes just decide who who gets to live and who gets to die pretty much like they're they're in control of that there's no um like there's nobody telling him okay like that person needs to go like it's the scythe just thinking about like okay this is like the probability of you causing more accidents in the age of mortality which is what they call like art world in our time on um, like okay you're drinking and if you get into a car you know you, you could cause more accidents back then than you, you know and well you need to be gleaned but if they do glean you uh, the people you live with like your family that you live with they get to get uh, be granted immunity for a year so they get a whole year of never being gleaned it's great. And then, like, the next year, oh shit, <laughs> we're up. <laughs> like, okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is great. I give it four stars. I'm really glad that I picked this up, and I'm definitely can't wait for the sequel. And then lastly, the book that I'm currently reading is Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. This is The Trials of Morgan Crow. Uh, this is book one, and I'm really glad that I finally picked this up because I'm loving it. I am on chapter 12, which is 204 pages in, or 205 pages in. I have about that much left. So it's like a little, a little more than half, I think, and I'm just really loving it. I can see why it's compared to Harry Potter. Uh, this is about Morrigan, who uh, was born on Eventide, which is like the unluckiest day. You're cursed if you're born on that day. And any of, like, the, uh, any misfortunes that happen, she's blamed for all of it. From, like, hurricanes to, oh no, from, like, hailstorms to heart attacks. She's blamed for it all. The worst thing about being born on this day is that on your 11th birthday, you're doomed to die. At the strike of midnight, you are doomed to die. Um... But before her 11th birthday, she starts getting these patrons that want to um, take her on. Like, everybody else gets these patrons for, like, their education and things like that. And she thought she wouldn't get anything because she is a cursed child. But um, on her 11th birthday, she meets Jupiter, who is from um, Nevermore, which is a free state. I don't know. Like... Where Morgan was born and the world she lives in, like, bef in the first part, uh, is the Republic State, and the one she goes to, Nevermore, that's a free state that no one's really ever heard of. But okay, it's, it's a magic city, pretty much. It's a city full of magic. And he takes her there to kind of escape her, you know, her fate. And she is, um... She he's trying to get her into the Wondrous Society, which is like this school for people with talent. 
though she doesn't know what her talent is. Nobody knows what her talent is. Um, and she has to pass these series of tests in order to be granted into the society. Um, and so far, so good. Like, this is really good. Uh, it's, it is middle grade, but I'm really loving it. Like, I really enjoy middle grade. Like, if I'm in the mood for it, it, it could be really well. It could be just really good. And I'm glad that I'm reading it. And I, I can't wait to finish it. I'm hoping to finish it in the next couple of days. Um, even though I did start this yesterday. And I loved it. Um, I don't know. I could probably finish this tomorrow, to be honest. Like, this could go, like, really fast. And I'm just loving it. And now I really want to pick up the sequel, too. But, yeah. We'll see how this goes for next week. But, yeah, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah, happy reading, guys. Bye.